In this video lesson, we're going to continue our look at the event menu, event operations, and this time change duration. Uh, for the purposes of our class here, we're going to really limit it, limit our look to the top two options, which are the first one, set all, and a couple of drop down menu items there, add, subtract, and scale by, and then legato, overlap, and gap. And we may take a look at remove overlaps and leave gap as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here musically and some bass guitar. And we're listening to Expand 2, our sample playback virtual instrument. And let's listen again. And also notice while we're listening that we've got different durations of notes. These are almost two beats long, so a little bit short of a half note each. This one's almost a full measure. Another almost a half note. These two, that one a little bit longer than a half note. A whole measure there. And so on and so forth. You'll notice that there are some gaps between some of the notes, like right here and here. And there are also some overlaps, as in right here and here. So let's listen to that again. Alright, my goal here is going to be to remove the gaps and also the overlaps. What I'd like these notes to be, I like the performance of these notes to be what we can term as legato. Legato meaning connected. So the end of every note transitions smoothly with almost, with really no perceptible break to the next note. Okay? So a couple of ways I can do that. I can actually just go easily and use my trimmer tool and just do it manually. And maybe for a very short passage like this, I might do something like that. As a matter of fact, for a short passage like this, with mixed note values, that might be the, that might be the easiest way to do it. But let's undo all of those, and let's see what Pro Tools can do for us. Okay? Let's say this is a very long passage, maybe two or three minutes, and it would be pretty tedious to tweak all these notes. All right? uh, one, because they're a, are a, they, these are mixed note values, in other words, halves, whole notes, that type of thing. Setting all two is going to set them all to a half note or all to a whole note or all to a quarter note or whatever. So that's not going to work. They'll either be too long or too short. So we're going to use the legato feature that will pro, where by Pro Tools will analyze all the notes in the track and adjust them accordingly. So let's go ahead and grab all those notes. And just using the default setting of maybe we, let's just, we're discovering for the first time, I'll leave it as legato and with an overlap, and I have to specify what the overlap is going to be in beats, which is quarter notes, and ticks, 0 to 960, or 0 to 959. Let's apply that, and you can see now they all have a one beat overlap. So if this were a string pad or a string line or something like that, um, maybe the overlap might be okay where they're overlapping note to note. But for our bass guitar here, when we're playing two notes together, especially down in the lower register, so when we play two notes like the right here, where we have a G to an A, let me play those together, it sounds pretty darn muddy, and we definitely don't want that in our track. So let's go the other way, and now let's undo that. So that's where we were. And now let's select overlap, but this time let's put zero beats, so no quarter notes, and actually no ticks. So they won't even be overlapping by a tick. They'll just be back to back. And now we've got perfectly legato notes with absolutely no overlap. So that's great. Now we can go the other way. Let's go do that. And we can go legato, and we can leave a gap here of, let's say, um, 10 ticks, just so we can see it, okay? So now it will resolve any overlapping notes and apply. Oops. Oh, things we've got, you know, go back. Let's set all two, there we go. Remove legato gap. Sometimes the mouse just has a mind of its own, okay? So there we are, let's get those again. Legato, gap of 10 ticks, apply. And you can see now those notes are pretty legato, 
But as we zoom out, we can see that we do have a gap of 10 ticks there. Okay. So I apologize for the wonkiness of the mouse there, but sometimes it has a mind of its own and starts checking stuff that I don't even catch. So there we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and zoom out. And we'll come back on the next change durations um, uh, video and finish up with a bass track. We're going to use the set all to option where it will be really practical and really useful.